Like imagine this sticking up through the <laughs> You just setting it there gave us so many bad ideas. guys welcome back to the channel so if you guys can tell we're filming a lot of videos in one day but before we head out today the boys want to hear the the boys want to hear what the single cab without the bed would sound like with the diesel tip on it so of course I can't put everything into the same video you know different video different day so. uh, I'm honestly I'm actually thinking about maybe there's a way that we can actually you know bed stack this you know what I mean so like what if we did a 90 degree and like put it through like that like imagine this sticking up through the <laughs> what would that be like, like you just setting it there gave us so many bad ideas because <laughs> we're not going to use that bed and I got to put the bed back on to be able to transport it back over to the because we left the bed at the tent shop so how many gasser trucks do you know that have a bed stack not a lot Christina's gonna be pissed Christina was pissed that I cut the exhaust off. It's your truck. She, I don't know. She was just, she was upset. She doesn't understand. You guys want to see some good content. Just leaving it stock and not doing anything. That's not good content. You guys want to see some, some real stuff. So we're going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this today, but we're going to mock it up so you guys can at least, I guess I could, oh shit, just like that. Dude, we could weld it just like that. What? What? That guy's watching us. Where? Oh. Security guard. Oh, well, that's fine. That work. We work here, sir. We're not messing with anything. Um, we probably could at least just see what it sounds like like this. You want to do that? Yeah. Start it up. I don't know if it's gonna be. I'm not gonna like be stupid. It might sound a little different. Give it those little light taps to where it pops. A little bit more. Oh my god. That's yeah. not bad though. Do you see all the little chunks? Yeah, the cats up. Yeah, the, the cats in this truck are just shredding apart inside right now. Every time I kill the gas, it just shreds apart. Here, wait, hold the camera. I'm gonna put it back on. So what, so what I'm finding out right now is we're absolutely welding this on there now. We're absolutely. So I don't want to. I don't want to say too much, but I've got a custom tip coming for the silver, the that wide bow tie. So this one's not going on the big truck. So I think this one might need to go on here. I think that's what we need to do because Shamar welded the axle dump onto that. So Shamar, I think we got to get together and find a way to weld this in there. Maybe, maybe we'll do an axle. Maybe we'll do a bed stack. We'll do a bed stack. I don't know if I want to cut that bed, but we're not going to use it. We're going to short bed it, so. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but hey, that don't sound too bad. That don't sound that bad, though. I mean, this is like the, this is like the, the pinnacle of lifted vehicles right here. I would love to have one of these. The only thing I think I would like better than this is the uh, the Mercedes 6x6. Six six. Some kind of long tube headers it looks like or something. I don't know. I think it's cool that it's a V8 though. I bet this thing sounds mean. It's got dual exhaust because it's got the dual tips but they come out each side so there's ones on this side and on the other side. But this thing is mean. Look how just fat this thing is. That's like if a like this is like the high end Jeep is what this is. It looks like a freaking tank. It kind of looks weird on the back though because it's like so tall and flat on the back. I would drive the hell out of this thing. I don't know whose this is. Looks nice on the inside. It's like driving a lifted Mercedes. I mean, essentially, lifted Mercedes Jeep. Oh, it'll be okay. Let me know what you guys think. Hell yeah. I like the, actually, it's almost like a light bar up top. I don't know what kind of lights those are. All carbon fiber though. I mean, that's that piece up there has got to be 20, 25,000. That's, 
That's fucking ridiculous. I'm not sure where we left off couple days ago. Thomas has had some very bad luck recently, but Thomas does have some new stuff on his truck that I want to show you guys real quick. Somebody backed into his tire the the other day, last night, whatever day it was, at some point. Everything's okay. His truck's fine. The other person, not so much. But Thomas did get some new Cognito upper control arms, and he says that they ride really good. So if you guys are debating on whether you should get Cognito, or what's the other one? Cognito and... Kryptonite. Kryptonite, yeah, I think they're just about the same thing. So if you guys are debating on which one to get, they're pretty much the same thing. So my my buddy at work gives me a call and says, hey, real quick, I got a car that you need to come look at. So we hop in the truck or hop in the car, we ride down the road and bam. I mean, literally this is, so this is the Mercedes G-Wagon Bravis, I believe, V8. It's got the carbon fiber fenders. Oh, look, it was the, look, it was like a yellow color. The, the wrap's coming off, so that's a wrap on there. That's pretty cool. The four G autos. Let's see, 37, 13, 50, 24. The Toyo Open Countries. If you guys have been keeping up with the videos, then you guys know that recently I have pretty much figured out that it's not the HOA that's been giving me a bunch of crap. It's my neighbors. My neighbors are just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know which neighbor it is, but we've got some neighbors that we need to figure out when or why or what what's going on and why they're bothering us why are they bothering me and my lifted truck or my truck's vehicles in general so a lot of you have commented giving me some suggestions to maybe what i can do to maybe catch this person or figure out who it is or what's going on and i'm gonna start setting up a camera i'm gonna put a camera like a dash cam in my truck and then i might i might end up putting one on the uh on the front door as well i'm not really sure which direction i'm going to go with that yet i'm going to go to walmart tonight or somewhere and just try and find something and see what i can find and try and see if i can get to the bottom of this you know the hoa is not going to help me out obviously so I, you know you kind of have to you know at this point it's a matter of safety and it's not really messing around anymore you know it's i've already had to pay you know a couple little small fines but we're, we're going to figure this out i'm going to set up some cameras and if they do anything else, we'll, we'll be able to figure out what it is. So thank you guys for the love and support. You guys are showing mad love to that video, that HOA video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Show some love to this video. You guys are the best. You guys always show love. And, you know, I love you guys for that. Brett Gang for life. You guys are. You guys already know what the deal is. But um, we got some great content coming this weekend. If you guys really want me to weld that diesel tip that's in the back of my truck right now, show some love, drop some comments, hit the like button. If we get enough likes, I'll go ahead and we'll actually weld it on there and actually just leave it on there for a little bit because I'm going to end up leaving the bed off for a little while. So make sure you guys like like the video if you want to see that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's get this bread. Get this bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.